We are going to evaluate determinants and apply Kramer's rule in this section. So to find a determinant, let's say you want to find the determinant, determinant of a matrix that's a 2 by 2, A, B, C, D. What you're going to do is run across from the A to the D, multiply those together, and write A times D, those are going to be numbers of course, minus C times B, and that's going to give you the determinant of this matrix. Determinant. And this is going to be just one number. It's not going to be a matrix. The answer is going to be one real number. Now, you can also find the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. It's just much, much harder. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. And you're going to rewrite this. Right? A, B, C, a, B, D, E, F, D, E, G, H, I, G, H. And you're going to do the same thing. So, A, E, I, plus B, F, G, plus C, D, H, minus these ones, minus G E C plus H F A plus I D B. So doing this by hand is pretty tedious. Remember, all of these letters, these variables, are just going to be numbers, whatever these numbers are in the original matrix. So you can find the determinant. It's going to be one number. Um, for a three, for a two by two or a three by three matrix. Um, I don't really want you to do this by hand, of course, it's helpful, it's important that I show you why this works, like why you have a determinant as one number, but it's more important that you can use a calculator to do this for you, so let's go ahead and try that. Let me go ahead and erase, and I'll put you guys on pause. Okay, let's try to evaluate the determinant of this matrix. You know if you're going to do this by hand, you would extend it over and write 4, negative 1, negative 3, negative 2, 0, 5. And you're going to do this, 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 this. So these ones in blue, these are the ones you add together. So those minus these ones in red over here. And that's going to give you a determinant. However, um, I don't think it's really necessary to walk through those steps. I think you can multiply, you know, 4 times negative 2 times 1 together. I'm just going to show you how to use a calculator to do this, make it a lot easier. So like from the last lesson, you already know how to enter a matrix. You go to second um, second matrix, go to edit. Let's edit matrix A. Um, this matrix has three rows and three columns. So it's a three by three. We're going to enter those numbers for negative one. Make sure you're using the negative sign, not the minus sign. Um, negative three, negative two, negative one. 0, 5, 0. So now we have this matrix represented on the calculator. Um, let's quit out of this matrix. And we're going to hit um, math. Sorry, second. We're not going to hit math. We're going to hit second matrix. Go to math. Number 1 is determinant, as you can see. So you press number 1. That's DET. And let's go grab that matrix. So determinant of matrix A, and that's going to give us our answer is, our determinant is negative 21. Determinants can also be used to find the area of triangular regions. Um, so for example, in this problem about sea lions, I mean this is pretty appropriate for this class, since we are always talking about seals and seal boats and things like that, so that's why I chose this. Um, so consider this triangular region here on the map, um, and it gives you the coordinate pairs to go with that. It says the triangle is formed by imaginary lines connecting Bodega Bay, Farallon Islands, Año Nuevo Island as shown. Um, use a t determinant to estimate the area of the region. So how you're going to do this is, when you're um, finding a triangle, 
this is actually, you need a 3x3 three three matrix. And how you're going to set it up is as follows. You're going to say negative 1, 41, 1. That 1 is just a placeholder. So 0, 0, 1. 38, negative 43, 1. And once again, to solve this, I mean, we're just going to plug it into our calculator. Let's, let's go ahead and edit that matrix, second matrix. Edit, we already have a 3 by 3, so we just got to change it. Negative 1, 41, 1, 0, 0, 1. That's our matrix. I put it in, I hit quit. I go to second matrix math to find the determinant of matrix A. And that answer is 1, 5, 1, 5. Now, we're not done yet because actually, um, to find the area of a triangle, the equation is 1 half times the determinant of that matrix. So in this case, we're going to have 1 half times 1, 5, 1, 5, and that's going to give us our answer. So let's find out that really quick. 0. 0.5 times 1, 5, 1, 5, and our answer is 7, 5, 7. 5. and I believe this is in square miles, and that's going to be our answer. And the only reason I had that half is because this is actually the formula to find the area of a triangle. I didn't mention it earlier, but it's one half times the determinant of those coordinate points, determinant being 1515, and that's going to be my answer, 757.5.